The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this 11th day of October, and we're looking at the Dow for the, uh, uh, let's see, at 10.06 a.m. Eastern Time, up 174. Bumping into this resistance line right there, the repellent zone, Chapman Wave Inside Track repellent zone. I'll be talking a lot about this in my upcoming webinar, which we're about to post in another day or so. Uh, coming up next week. And the reason is, this is an important phase. Look, we've taken 2,000 points off the Dow from 35,631 all-time high in August of this year, down to 33,600. And now we're at 34,921. This is very good action, but you've got to go above this inside track repellent. Look, every time we've gotten to this area, we've pulled back. But look, you see that little L there? That's because the nine period moving average. So far, it's a daily chart. You can't talk about a daily chart until the day is done. That'll be at four o'clock. But right now, finally, the nine period moving average is crossed above the 14 period moving average. Tomorrow, if that holds, it'll change from pink to green. And that's a good sign. The MACD strong stochastic is at 70%. That's good. Not great. On balance volume is very poor. And the relative strength is good. So this is still telling me that this choppiness here, the weight of evidence as I did my work and as I showed these my subscribers in my uh, webinar, uh, on my video on Sunday, there is still internal strength. And what we're really doing now is us usurping energy and time because, let's face it, for the Dow, what is today, the 11th, we, we, we're within two months, you see. You've got August to September, September to October. You've got two months of going sideways, basically. Yes, low lows and low highs until just recently. But it says to me there's a good chance that we are consolidating and that there are a couple, maybe a one or two rug pulls still to come. How the 33,600 to 33,200 level holds on any major slam to the downside is going to be important. Or on the upside, how a 35,150 to 35,200 close says, ah, ah, sideways at worst, up at best. But we've got to wait to get there. And the weekly chart is holding quite nicely above the 9 pre moving average. Monthly chart has made a peak D, still holding pretty well. And now we're going to go to the S&P. I'll take just a little time to do these because at the beginning of the week and the end of the week, we try to do an analysis because I, Friday I, I did the early show and was recorded and taped uh, for later. No, no, Friday I did the whole show. That's right. I did the right time. 45, 45, 85 on the 2nd of September, all time high. Three little doji candles, three little doji candles sitting in a row. And then what happens? You come down sharp, you do 42, 78, 98. And that was at the beginning of October. And now we've had. A good few sessions trying to break above the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone within the context of the falling axe formation. And the weekly chart is still pretty weak, so there's a lot of work to be done here. We're trading up 17 to 44.08. It needs to clear the 44.28, 44.32 area. I just say, you know what? I'm trying to go for the, 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 the previous high of 44.50. All time high was 44. How can it be 44.50 when the all-time high was? Wait a minute. Did I write something incorrectly here? 45. All-time high was 45, 45.65, 85. Yep, I got that right. So why does this say 40? Oh, 44.50. Sorry, it's been a busy weekend. Uh, uh, it's 100 points lower. Yep. So that, that needs to get to the 44.50s. And that says, hey, that's really good action. And now we can maybe make a cup formation in the weekly chart. But if we start to pull back 44.72 to 44.66, that's key support. All right, let's go on. We're going to go to the QQQ, one, two, three. Very uh, much. So the Dow's the stronger uh, indice in chart pattern. The S&P is next. The QQQ is, is very weak. 
Um, it's one of the weaker uh, indices, and it's really struggling. But today it's up a dollar seventy nine at three sixty two point eighty. This is very important because now there are two trend lines that it has to cross, and it has to get to three sixty five eighty to three sixty nine eighty over the next week of trading. That's this week. Sorry, of this week of trading to say, you know what? I've made a, a pretty important low. It might not be the low, but it's a low, and we're going to move higher. That's all that I'm saying. But I think that the QQQ NDX 100 Invesco QQQ Trust Series is in a longer time frame, digestive phase. I think it's going to take a little while longer before it gets on board. If you go to the SMHs, look how bad that is. Nice day today of 225 at 257.04, but slumping from 276s. August the 16th, uh, all the way down to 248. That's almost 30 points. Uh, this is a pathetic little rally that we've had. So the SMHs need to get to the 2, 263, 266 area. And it has to do that fairly soon to say, you know what? I'm trying to get back to the all time high. Right now, big digestive phase. And that's really important to monitor. I just wanted to do the IWM, which is a Russell 2000. Just stuck in the middle of the range, that's all. Just choppy, choppy, choppy between 235 and 210. And the areas of 222 right in the middle. It's just kind of stuck. Uh, not a bad uh, day today. So a question about, I do want to get to this because a lot of people are talking about crude oil. Crude oil is up $2 at 81.37. A new recovery high. The most important high that was made was way back here in 2018. That was in October. It went to the continuous contract, went to 86.28. And here we are at 81.32, having gone negative. You remember the futures actually went negative at one point, but the actual print low was right down here. Uh, April of 2020, we went down to say <laughs> I can't believe it. It was like a stock. It went down to $7.61. You know, it's like we're looking at those fantastic gains that we've seen in stocks. This is, this is a commodity. I know this for a fact because uh, traveling to uh, Brooklyn this week on Friday and back again um, Saturday. Uh, let me tell you, this was very, uh, there's a lot going on. And crude prices have jumped sharply, but the traffic on the road is heavy. It is very heavy. People are just getting out there. They want to get out. And it's, we're going to see at some point, we're going to get a clash between the price of oil skyrocketing and the demand as well as the innate uh, the innate wanting for many people to be out and about. We're going to see how that clashes. And I think there will be a, a momentary period where all of a sudden these things come together in a negative way. Right now, it's being ignored. Look at the uh, crude oil price right now. It's pulling back a little bit up $1.93. And I've got this as alternate account G slash C. Probably it's a C. Look, the MACD hasn't even shown any sign of touching the 14 period. The, the green nine period differential isn't even close to the um, to the slow moving average, the 26 period moving average. MACD's flat at 87 percent. Only the on balance volume saying a little bit overbought. We should have a pullback very soon. Where am I now? I'm going to look at the TLT and we'll go to goals in the moment. TLT. Uh, trying to rally, it's now down just 12 cents. At 141.76, made a lower low today. Wow. I'll be back. That's a that was a month. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Go through this again. So the TLT, remember I said in the pattern that we looked at uh, very closely, and these are the patterns that I'll be discussing in my webinar coming up next week as soon as we get the uh, front page up. Uh, 152.72 was the old, was the recovery high, the last one, and that was in uh, July. Pulls back, and then it holds at 145, rallies to the 151.79 area, underneath the previous high to make a kind of a cup formation, but a failure pattern when the technicals were weak. And then what happens, you get that very ugly candle four weeks ago, and then the next week it takes out the left side low in the dreaded H pattern, the lowercase h, and that says you can get a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. That's just an example of a, a potential, but most importantly, what we're looking at is a stochastic at 4.72%. That's right in an area where it should start to find some strength. On balance volume is overbought, just like, oversold, just like we were looking at overbought back there around about the 13th of September. And here it is at 4.72. Uh, sorry, that's the, uh, that's the stochastic. Right here underneath, it's right at a low. It, there's a chance we're going to get a little bit of a bounce here, only a little bit of a bounce, and then I think we do some retesting. So we're watching this, and we're watching. I, I shown my subscribers some opening call on uh, Sunday. That oh, was yesterday. Yesterday, well, time flies. Um, yesterday, that uh, for those of you who are able, to, I said, and that's going to wrap it up. And then I said, oh, but wait a minute, I forgot to do the uh, um, my triple yield chart. But that is showing that look, T and X. Dot X. That is showing that we've got a leg F slash C right here. It went in the chip wave one to one in the falling X from breakout formation. I, I to me, this looks like it wants to go a little higher based on uh, the fact that the MACD still hasn't turned down. The histogram is still holding steady, uh, and the nine is way above the fourteen. And you've got the uh, stochastic at ninety three percent. On balance volume, there is none because it's uh, it's um, this is an, an instrument. It doesn't trade the TNX. You can use other means to trade it, but not um, this particular uh, uh, symbol. So what we're looking at is the relative strength is showing strength. I think it's going to go a little higher. Look, the weekly chart broke out very nicely. Monthly chart looks like it wants to go to a leg C at some point. So anyone who says 
that yields are not an issue. I, I think yields are going to be an issue. In a sense, it's a, a good issue because it, it means that there's, there's some kind of economic recovery. On the other hand, with crude oil up like this and uh, lack of labor, it's so difficult now I'm hearing from people in all walks of 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 of, of I'd say life, but in fact, really, we wouldn't be looking at all walks in the economy, um, saying we're starting to see a shortage and we're not able to fulfill that. I mean, look at RHI, they said to subscribers over the weekend and last week. Look at this spectacular move, even today. Uh, Robert Half International, those jobs, 111.06 up $1.96. Look at this move. Three green, a gap up and then three huge candles. This is one of those you've got to close your eyes and just grab it. I had a lot of stocks in this area, in the jobs area, that are just, this is a momentum, this is a tidal wave. This is not a short term or an intermediate term. This is actually the monthly chart, which is still looking strong. So that's going to suddenly come to an abrupt halt if you can't get the workers. But right now, it's really working. Uh, so there it is. So now I just want you to go back to show you high-grade copper. Oh, I just hit the wrong thing. High-grade copper. Let's get out of there. Let's get out of there. Let's go to high-grade copper at HG. This is a continuous contract. That's a nice move to the upside. And I like this. I like, oh, this is a big move. Uh, leg B coming off the bottom. It's going to the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone in the weekly chart. Look at that trend line. Look at that right there. Let me just be as conservative as possible. Let me just take it to the highs and make it green. This is what I like to do. You can do this simple technique. Developed it years and years and years ago. And uh, there's nothing proprietary about it. It's just my technique that I developed. And I, I show it because it works so nicely. Look at this. You break out of that. That turns that whole area of 4.30 into support. You haven't done it yet. And it's only a peak B in the monthly chart. This is copper. Look at wood. Uh, it held support. Uh, let's see. There it is. Yeah, it held that support in the 200 period moving average. Having a nice day today. There's a global iShares Timber and Forestry ETF doing quite nicely. Look at this. Uh, we're going to go to Baba. Baba. Alibaba. Nicely off the low. And that's from the 138 area. It's trading at 166 right now. That's a nice pop to the upside. Still needs a lot of work, but I'm just saying that these areas, remember Baidu is the one that I said was acting much, much better. Look at that Baidu. Look at that Chapman Wave inside track. Well, it's actually not. This is this is the breakout. Look at that channel breakout. I mean, that is, that's beautiful. So that's, I'm just saying as a pattern, it's beautiful. But the fact is, it's about to bump at 164 up to 10. Uh, Baidu is, is another Chinese company, is about to re bump into resistance. Look at the FXI. This is the um, large cap ETF, China large cap ETF. Nice pop to the upside. Off a, a trough G, G slash uh, C in the weekly chart. Let's just see what's going to happen here. This needs a lot more work. I'm just saying these things are working very nicely just off the bottom. Trying to make establish at least some kind of tradable uh, uh, Roblox. Uh, I did for our, our Den guest there. Um, let's see, that was for uh, S and P. Yeah, I, I said it was at about seventy one thirty, and I said, yeah, maybe a nibble right here. It's a start of something that could just be a, a pretty decent bounce. I'm only thinking bounce right now. Gaming and platform, Roblox Core, trading at 71.37, up 93 cents. Um, yeah, it's oversold, and it's just trying to bounce. But if you want to get in, this is one of those where you, you, you start a position, you can add to it on strength. You just have to have a little patience, and you've got to be prepared. In this particular instance, I said 69. I can't remember what I typed in here. I said 69.06 is a stop is a support that must hold. So it's a, a two point at the point that moment it was about a two point risk. But then I would tighten that up immediately if it starts to move higher. Okay, we want why does it keep doing that? IYT, this is the um, transportation index, even with uh, Southwest Air, terrible news, over 2000 cancellations. And they said it was weather. Give me a break. It wasn't just weather. It was because I think there was a wasn't there? Didn't I hear that there was a 
some kind of a uh, slowdown, uh, union thing, a slowdown, uh, uh, protests, something like that. Anyway, so IYT is up 46 cents at 254.17 and has broken out above the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. That becomes support, so 254.17 at 46 cents. Watch very closely because the 251 area is support. Let me just do the dollar. We're almost there. The dollar is acting quite nicely. It's up three ticks at 94.14, up in the higher range. We'll see what happens. If you put it together with gold, gold is up two at 17.59. I I'd said before, and I said to subscribers over the weekend, because we have got a, we have a position in one of the gold areas, uh, is that if you're looking at this, it's just trying to establish some kind of a base, and it could be a percentage-wise nice gain. I don't think it's about to break out yet. Uh, uh, silver's holding quite nicely, 2277. How will we do that? We'll be looking at the IV, IGV. As soon as I return, IGV is the uh, this is the ISIS expanded tech soft PETF quest. I'll do that. We'll be are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. And we're looking at a question came in here. When I look at our NFT, which is Lockheed Martin for the security, aerospace, research, design, development, manufacturer, tech systems, uh, the works. And if you look at the monthly chart, this is a great example of the lowercase h that becomes a lowercase m in a sideways rectangle formation. It had a high of 429 back in February of 2020 when the general market in March was making its low. 
This one was just uh, moments earlier was at 4.29 and then kaplop. It goes down to 266.11 at the low in March. In a month, 266.11. Almost cut in half. Amazing. Um, and that, and then runs up to the 419 area, pulls back to 320, runs back up to the three uh, 390s, and then pulls back again. And it's just seen this thing. Now, when you look at the weekly chart, you'll see the weekly chart at a beautiful a low bar around right about 320, runs all the way to the uh, 390s at the PD Doji candle high. Double tops, doesn't take that high out, and then pulls back sharply, but has a higher low bar. And now what we're looking at is there's a chance that it's in leg B uh, to the upside, but I haven't yet got signals to say that it's a sustained move because the MACD histogram is improving the weekly, but the MACD hasn't crossed positive. The 9 is still pink way below the 14, a moving average. And the stochastic is only at 26%, but it has come off low nicely. And the on-balance volume is kind of pathetic. So this is an attraction of the sector. And um, uh, so Moz asked me about it. And I'm, I'm just going to tell you that this is acting well. It's acting, uh, you know, we, we, for, for my opening call, we have one $100 uh, lower than this. And it is also doing extremely well. Uh, we just got it uh, like a few days ago, and it's gone from 199 to 20 uh, to 205 in just a few days. Yours has gone in a few days from the 348 area, 347s to 358. That's also really good, and it's broken above. Look earlier on on Friday when it closed, it was underneath the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, as well as the Chapman Wave falling axe formation. I may be teaching some of these techniques. Uh, when I do my webinar next week, what we're looking at here is Chapway falling axe formation, make a high, and you start to make lower highs and much lower lows. And all of a sudden, it finds support, and that ex that expanding cone formations finds support, and it breaks above the resistance line, and it has the chance to do a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. This has already done a cup formation. So now all you can do is go step by step, and that would say I'd have to go from here to here. And of course, in this particular instance, I like to say if it breaks above the resistance line, it can do a one-to-one. -one. Let me make this, I usually make that blue. And then the next one I make pink. It can do a one-to-one -one expansion to the upside but I'm always very conservative. I go from the lowest low in this case, and I move up. And even this very, very conservative way says it has to go all the way to the 200 period moving average of 365, and it's a 358. That's eight points. That's a lot. So that would just be a guide, and usually I change the color, but it is doing it in, um, no, it's not doing it, it's doing it in price, but it's not doing it in this. I'd have to move to the right to say it's doing it in the same degree the same angle to the upside but it is but it's doing it away from the low so this is really good action if by wednesday afternoon thursday morning lmt lockheed martin trading now at 358.60 up four dollars and 85 cents up 1.37 that is a real nice uh, percentage move on the day um if this ha holds the 355s and actually has one burst, doesn't have to close, just has to have a burst of energy into the 360s, to, and preferably to extend this as leg B. Right now I'm calling it a gray leg B because I don't have all the signals to say it's in a buy mode, so I'm just going gray until it gets confirmed. Um, so this is good. So if you're in it, I like it very much. If you're not in it, You've got to get a smaller position, that's all. If it was Friday, I'd say you have a certain position. If it's now Monday and it's already moved up uh, over five points from where it was on Friday at this time, all I can say is now you have to make it a little bit smaller position just for money management, but you can start a position here at 358. Uh, I'd make it a fairly tight stop, a 1.5% stop, $3 to $4 stop initially. 
and then depends on how he and this is interesting that in the aerospace area with all the stuff that's going on in the jets the airlines themselves look at this jets uh, look at that uh, uh, up seven cents today 2405 but after the peak d is pulled back quite a bit so you need to see see the monthly chart chapman way falling axe formation and then you've got the inside track you have to see jets the u.s global jets etf push sharply high in fact has to make a new recovery high in the 2530s to say uh, i'm back folks i'm back right now it's just digesting it and if you look at boeing also part of the group but not necessarily part of the jets um is up two dollars and 19 cents at 228.58 so this is a peak c it goes to a leg c so there's even an a b could have a, a chum wave overlapping wave but in the meantime Above 229.94 by one penny starts the leg D to the upside. This is nice action in Boeing. Not great, but nice. And now you can see, I drew this in ages ago. I said, just moving sideways can get you out of a trend line down or up. But if there's veracity to it, look, the MACD's histogram's improving, but it hasn't turned positive yet. If this week, at the end of the week on Friday, this MACD is cross positive, that's going to be a good sign for Boeing to say, this counter, I'm calling it right now, counter trend rally is still active and it's doing very nicely. So let's go back to your Lockheed Martin because it's in the same kind of area, uh, pulling back a little bit from the high of the day of 358.73. So 357.94. I like this. And if you aren't in it, but you like the group, just think of it as another arch formation, a third arch formation. But that's a nice percentage move. I prefer the one we have because that, if this breaks out, uh, the way I think it has a chance to in the same area, I think it has a much more powerful pattern. That's all. So well, I hope that helps you. A couple of questions came in. So that was Mose in the United Kingdom wanting to know about uh, LMT. Uh, like, oh, oh, Mose. Question about uh, Mosaic. I talked about this earlier last week. I said, this looks fabulous. I probably for a subscriber should have grabbed it. We've had some nice gains. Can't complain. But this would have been a very nice one to add to the list. Funnily enough, we only have long positions now, even though I'm still very cautious on the market. Um, I see it's selective. If you're selective and you're looking at your stocks in a certain way, you don't really care about the market because uh, you're going to be helped by the price movement positively, hopefully, uh, by, by your choices. And this is a leg C, make these good stochastics at 95%. Fantastic on balance volumes, a little overbought. We'll have a bit of a pullback and then I think we go a little bit higher and then we might take a breather in the mosaic company phosphate and potash. I'll be back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back, and I just wanted to see so that was A, B, C, D. Yeah, that's an alternate count. So the, the, the one-minute chart has finally just arched over, and we're looking at F slash C. Oh, that should be uppercase, doesn't matter. And a D right there, and always in the Chapman Wave methodology, D is where you've got to be careful. Other things can happen. Uh, this was an instant restart right there, so this is A, and this is E slash B, F slash C, D. Always get your D, the fourth highest peak, and you can pull back. Just done that in a shorter term. Just make it real clear, if this afternoon, the, the S&P is of 18, if the S&P this afternoon is able to get to the 44.10 or higher level, that's fabulous action. But if there's a pullback, 439, it's at 4400 4, right now, trading below the 200 period moving average of 43.84 says, uh-oh, um, a little too enthusiastic there, and there'll be a bit of a pullback into the close. Let's just go. So I had a question about IGF. This is the iShares Expanded Tech Software ETF. Peak, I'm calling this for now a peak F in the monthly chart. I'm calling it a peak E in the weekly chart. I should actually have put a down arrow here. I think everything about it meets the criteria, except the 9 is still strong over the 14, but everything else says you can put in a, a down arrow. Yes, you could have the, the little carrot on top if it goes higher again, but this is in a topping motion, and you can see the uh, 42, 428.90, 428.83, Chapwave wave two bar reversal at the all time high, uh, back around about September the 3rd or so, and then we've made trough A, trough B, trough C, troughs on the downside, peaks on the upside, trough D at about a uh, let me give you the exact price. I don't know why it's so bright there. Oh, that's because it's there. Um, let's get that out of the way. 388.86 on the 4th. Just type it in. 388.86, and that is 84. Uh, I don't know if it's 8. It should be 10.4. 10.4. All right. So there's this a little bounce that's under the way. I, I just, this goes into the category of the SMHs. I think this is the area that's going to fail. This is the area that is going to be weakest for now. I think when it comes to maybe late November, early December, maybe that's when you get a much bigger move. But right now, this is not that great. And it's saying to me that the semiconductors, the SMH, the IGV, this is the iShares Expander Tech, the, uh, did I do the SMH right now? No, I didn't. Uh, the XLK, that is the S&P tech sector ETF, these are all in the same category, and they're all working really hard. I suspect they're making a sideways consolidation. At any point, if they take out the most recent lows, close below the recent lows, that's just going to suggest it's going to last a lot longer, and that's probably the reason why the... Um, the rate sector is so important to monitor because as long as the rates are going higher, it does impact 
the uh, tech sector because they need money, they need funds, they have to pay for that. So um, within that uh, within that context, just watch this closely. A close any day this week above 154.70 to 155.20. A close above this is wow. It can go all the way to the outer band. This is the Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone right there and uh, right where. And this is the only one that I have no other way to count this. I don't know what the count is in the daily chart. The weekly chart is a peak D. So uh, this one had an alternate count, and it went to a C at an all-time high. That is so unusual. Uh, so I'm just saying, if it can close any day this week above 155.60, that is very impressive. And it's at 152.76. It's only three points you need to the upside. So that that. I'd be impressed to say that I think we've established a low that means sideways trading range with maybe slightly higher highs to come, but you have to get there. Um, just a question I had here about U.S. Steel. I went through the steel stocks very closely. Yeah, it's at a trough G, but it's a trough G slash C. Remember, you always have to have that alternate count when the technicals are this week, G slash C. And stochastic said 16% on U.S. Steel X is a symbol up 93 cents, up to at 21.63, up 4.5%. That's not bad. But I think it's still stuck in the range. Now, what I would do with this, because you just don't know in, in, in a sector itself, and this is one of the leaders, I, if you're interested in it, nibble here, 21.60. I don't think I want to buy calls. I don't want that kind of risk. I just rather nibble at 21.63. This, the low today is 21.25. I would not like to see it go under 21.25. That's only 40 cents, but it's, that's not the way it has to be. So I'd make my stop pretty tight. I make, I make it even tighter than that. And on, as it moves up, I want to see time. I want to see the weekly chart establish a way of looking at it saying, oh, look at that. The stochastic is not at 11% anymore. It's now at a 13 or 14% with a V-shaped turnaround. I just don't know if it's going to get there. And if you look at SLX, which is the steel sector ETF, you can see it's because of the steel sector, there are a couple of stocks that are doing better. It looks better. But look at this weekly chart. This is forming an, a, a lower uh, rectangle formation here or a cup formation. So I don't know if it's ready to make the big turn, but I do know that at 57.68, uh, a close below 53 would be really negative in the SLX, Van Eck Vector Steel ETF, but a punch into the the gap and fill the gap and go into the 60.30 area on a closing basis, I'd say, you know what? I think we're going to get talk again of infrastructure play. <laughs> and that's when this thing does move. You did, You went in with options. Uh, what you, I'm not going to tell you what to do because you already uh, you do you understand your own options play extremely well. I, I'm not going to get involved in that. I'm just saying a naked call option is probably not the way I would go with it. But you would not do that. You'd have you'd ameliorate that that risk. So I, I'm not going to get involved there. I'm just saying it's coming off a low. It's good action today. Um, let's see if we can hold that, and that's really important. The holding of the position. XRT, XRT is the retail S and P retail ETF. Um, it's an equal weight, so Amazon's not really a distortion here. It's in an upper rectangle formation. Still pretty damn good action. All-time highs in the 98s, and this is trading right now at 90.65, holding quite well. But it does arch over in the weekly chart, and that just says, hey, be a little careful because this, if we're talking containers and we're talking about lack of uh, supply, who's going to get hurt? Wouldn't you think that the XRT retail index would, be, would, would have a problem? I think so. So the RTH, that is the retail, and that does have Amazon. You can see what it's done. Look how nicely this is. I, I do want to do this right here to check. Yeah, that went to an E, peak E in the daily chart. Remember, DEF, that's where you start to look at some top information in um, chat wave methodology. And that went to peak E, the recovery high in the 182s, plummets down to the 172s, now trading 176. And this does have Amazon, a peak D in the weekly chart. You know, I think I have to put a down arrow here. Yep, I put a down arrow there. So we've got one segment to go. And with that said, 
let's just have I'm going to save that. And then I want to do a quick a quick run through of stocks that I was asked about. I'll do that as almost like a lightning uh, lightning hour. Up back, that's the technicians hour. That was a fun just. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So let's just uh, run this really quickly. So the XLE, this is the S&P Select Energy Spider Fund Leg D in the monthly chart, trying to fill that rectangle that I drew in ages ago. It'll go to just over 60. That was the high that was in, I think, January of 2020. Plunge, plunges down to the 22 area. Wow, 2288 March of 2020. So that's in play. And I do have to call this a leg B in the weekly chart. This is in play. And this is, you're talking about energy sector. <laughs> There's no denying it. Uh, this I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to call this a leg B by mode in the weekly chart. And yes, it's getting a little toppy in the. Uh, in fact, I would like to call this peak C1, C2, right there, late September, brand new peak A, B, and this is F slash C. You can call it. I that's kind of. I think this is a leg C in the weekly in the daily chart, getting somewhat overbought, and it's getting a toppy motion this week, and then it should have a bit of a pullback. But it is in play. XLE. Amazon, let's just run these quickly. Everybody uh, likes to know what's happening in the big guy. This is why I'm saying Amazon is just lagging. It's down 12 at 3,276, stuck in the low range. Apple, stuck in the low range. 
a uh, nice day today, up a dollar fifty at one forty four forty. I just don't think this is the place to be. Um, you might have quick trades, but I think looking out, their big move is done. They have to digest these huge gains and get ready for maybe twenty twenty two. I'm not sure. Um, Netflix, Netflix. As I say, I'm beginning to understand a lot more. Unfortunately, Big D daily, Leg D weekly, Leg D monthly, upper level, almost all time highs holding very nicely in a different kind of sector altogether. Uh, a couple of quick quick ones that uh, people wanted to know. Home Depot. Uh, oh, yes, I'll do that. Cash is what you want to know. My cash index, Syntas, Amazon, Spy, and Home Depot. So Home Depot up 466 at 339 right now. Good action. The upper range, it's still in play. Um, so a question came in just uh, right now. So uh, you, you're saying that in your aerospace and uh, security area, You've got some good, yeah, we bought something last week uh, and it's doing really well. In fact, it's up 1.75% 1, 1 today alone. So, yeah, we be very specific, very focused on only what I think could work in this environment. 